We are following a developing story out of Bountiful where a man remains in jail facing multiple charges, including child kidnapping and fighting with police. All of this stemming from his refusal to follow a court order to hand over his children to authorities. Fox 13 Scott McCain is live in Bountiful and joins us with the very latest. Hi, Scott. Morning, guys. Uh, he is 37-year-old Dustin Matthews, and he apparently has a pretty lengthy history of uh, domestic violence and stalking. So recently, a judge issuing an order for him to turn over his three children, ages 8, 6, and 3, to authorities so they could then be returned to his ex-wife. Well, Bountiful Police attempting to execute that order last night. They showed up at the home of Matthew's parents in Bountiful, but they say Mr. Matthews immediately refused and became combative. At one point, holding his three-year-old child, he ran off into the neighborhood. Officials, though, they were able to gather multiple local resources, allowing them to quickly locate and eventually arrest Mr. Matthews. Child abduction response team, the DPS helicopter responding, multiple canine units, and all of the surrounding agencies surrounding Bountiful responded immediately to that area and we were able to locate him quickly and in, within under an hour we had him in custody and the child safely recovered. Chief Edwards says ultimately it was an alert neighbor who actually spotted Matthews and the child and helped point officers in the direction where they located him but even when he was cornered police say Matthews actually dropped his three-year-old then fought with officers who say they had to tase him three times before finally getting him into custody. Now, according to his jail booking statement, Matthews has a history of domestic assault and stalking. At one point, he allegedly threatened to kill his entire family and asked his mother at one point to take his guns, fearing he would do something bad with them. Another time, he allegedly said he was going to take the children to Texas so that his ex-wife would never see them again. So obviously a very emotional and dynamic situation for the Bountiful police officers who arrived last night. Dustin Matthews remains in the Davis County Jail facing multiple charges and will likely see a judge sometime later this week. For now, we're live in Bountiful. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.